Everything you see was broadcasted live at twitch.tv slash x one Hope to see you there. Get your notebook out guys, this game is going to be very informative. This was a game that really showcased the art of getting picks as Kha'Zix and knowing how to go about getting kills on the map when it feels like you can't do anything. Trust me guys, this one is going to be very useful to whoever that is wanting to learn Kha'Zix, so without further ado, let's just get into the game. First things first, mute all. Mute all in your games, holy shit man, it's so useful. <clears throat> I swear it's so useful, but okay. Here at the start of the game, we are going to go for a topside invade. Now, we are going to catch someone here, but because I'm Kha'Zix, um, I can't really do much in this scenario. So we're gonna start the game off by catching the Kindred here, right here. Uh, it was very good here, but I'm as you can see, I'm just completely out of range. Just straight up out of range, and I couldn't do anything. Unfortunately, if I was with those people, uh, if I did go to the right side, and invade with the Malphite, I probably would have been able to get one Q off, and maybe she would have died, but uh, yeah, it's just unfortunate. <coughs> Excuse me. I decided to go around. I don't really know why, but my thought process was if I... <clears throat> if I... went with them, if we all went the same way, uh, they if someone was in that bush I was walking into, they would have easily seen us. So that's why I decided to go around to try and cut someone off. Um, anyway, I have to start my blue here because Camps is starting to spawn, so I end up soloing, which kind of sucks, but <clears throat> at the very least, it doesn't bother my laners too much. Uh, now, as you can see, I've been muting a lot of pings. I got pinged for that, <clears throat> for that shitty uh, invade where my team burnt flashes and... Uh, we also burnt the Kindred Flash, but yeah, if you ever get a any form of stupid, like, toxicity, even if it's the slightest bit, I just mute all, because it's so fucking useful. Okay, I was thinking about invading topside here with the, at the Kindred's Red, but then I realized she's over there anyway, so uh, I'm not gonna go and do that. I'm just gonna continue my full clear, because I was kind of, uh, worried that she would go for a vertical jungle and actually go into my red, <clears throat> but thankfully she didn't. And so I'm able to just kind of full clear. Kind of full clear is the key word. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's really... Yeah. I, I just go for five camps here and then I go off and do something else. So, I'm going to touch on my runes again. Phase Rush, enough said. <clears throat> it's just fucking good. Best rune in the game right now for Kha'Zix, I think. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> and I'm going to finish off my red here. And the bot lane is getting pushed in, so I'm really feeling like I can do this. Like, surely we can do this, but <clears throat> um, there is a huge wave, and I got really greedy pulling off this gank, uh, as you're as you're about to see. Um, so Malphite goes in, and I'm a bit too late. I walk back because I didn't really want to do this, but they, and they end up going in anyway. And so I'm just like, fuck it, let's go in, let's try it. But then I get exhausted, and my damage gets cut in half, so the Karma is gonna live, and the Ezreal goes down. <clears throat> oh, sorry, he he kills the. Lucian and the Malphite also goes down to the Karma, and I just have to barely flash out here. If I did not flash that, it would have been catastrophic. Uh, the game probably would have been over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it really <w> would. <coughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I still have a cough, and I don't know when it's gonna go away. But yeah, I was just saying, if I gave the double buffs to the Ezreal, I, I, just, I just like, it would have been so bad for my bot lane. Um, and it, it's, it's gonna get worse from here, but it, it's just going to be a very, very rough game uh, to start with. Um, but it will pick up in the later stages of the game. Um, as you can see, yeah, it's going to be rough. Uh, solo kill by Silas onto the Aurelia. <clears throat> Sorry for this background noise. Forgot to close my window. God damn it. And here I'm like, okay, surely, surely I can try again, right? I can try again. So Lucian picks up the Karma. Um, and I try and chaos this, but like, I, no, I don't get there in time. They trade one for two. That is actually pretty good. And so I'm going to shove the wave here, which is still really good for me as well. Um, it pretty much means that my top side is gone. Um, well, you would assume it would be gone, right? Because uh, <clears throat> I just showed bot side for like the past two minutes and Kindred was top side. So uh, I am expecting her to take my Gromp and Wolves. On top of that, she has the mark there. So you can pretty much expect that to happen. And uh, yeah, we're going to just 
do our bot side from now for now just because uh we don't have anything else to do uh, everyone is resetting etc and i'm not level six yet i desperately need six because um <clears throat> yeah i needed to farm up a storm this game uh, i needed to farm quite a bit just because uh it's like man i didn't feel like i could do much this game uh, until level six anyway so i was just like okay i need to farm the shit out of my jungle and see where it goes from there Unfortunately, the Kindred gank spot lane and the Malfighter is down to the Ezreal. And this just makes the situation even worse. Because, uh, the bot lane is starting to do really well. And snowball, a lot of kills on the Ezreal. Um, and yeah, it's just not ideal. I'm just wor- at this point, I'm just worried that my team is going to tilt. That's the only thing I'm worried about right now. I'm not too concerned with their team. Um, because in all honesty, if I play it right, their team is not too hard to deal with. Uh, Rise is not too threatening. Um, and, you know, bot lane is self-explanatory. But yeah, as, uh, the Galio comes down, he actually picks up the Ezreal again. There's a lot of shit happening down in the bot lane. And I'm so happy this happened. Because, like, I don't want anyone to tilt. That's the that's the main thing. That's the main thing I have in Celico. Just no one tilt, please. Malphite picks up a double kill, which is actually really huge. And that will come into... Uh, That'll come into effect later in the game, uh, as you'll as you'll see later on. Because uh, man, shit goes down really really fast. Uh, I want to actually catch that catch that wave, but Galio has teleport. It would have been really good for me to catch that because I would have gotten so much experience. Uh, but I decide to settle for the crab. But turns out Kindred's here. I'm gonna come in here. Galio's gonna ult me. That's why I'm picking picking this fight. Otherwise, I'll just jump straight out because uh, I am not level six. <clears throat> Aurelia's going in on the Silas. And I'm just gonna, you know, take my crab and that's about it. <laughs> she actually solo kills the Silas, which is really good. But again, I'm I'm pretty weak right now, so I'm just gonna take my camps and just chill. I'm not gonna pick too many fights. Uh, I won't have my warrior for a bit. As you can see, I'm only up 400 gold. Um, so that kind of sucks, but yeah, I finally hit 6. And I actually decided to evolve my Q here. Uh, bit of a s interesting reasoning for it, I guess. I th it's just it's pretty much just because I wanted more damage. Um, not burst, by the way. I wanted more DPS so that I could farm faster and uh, just kind of uh, what do you call it? <laughs> just kind of carry harder, I guess, in isolation. That was my plan. So yeah, Ezra goes down. Ezra kills the uh, Lucian once again. And it's not looking too good for the bot lane. Um, I wasn't really expecting much out of the bot lane anyway after that gank, but you know, uh, it, it does kind of suck the Ezreal is getting fed. And now the thing I'm worried about is the fact that this Ezreal will get Iceborne and his death stands really quickly. So that's what I was worried about now in this scenario. I really did not want that to happen too early uh, because if that does happen, it's just so obnoxious to play against. Like. It's so dumb having <laughs> Ezreal fucking building two armor items and can just heal for bullshit amounts of damage. Yeah, it's Death Sense is busted. <laughs> I can't wait until the next season. But yeah, I'm gonna take my red here. And I'm still gonna be looking bot lane just because, um, you know, <clears throat> they are pretty low and the tower's low, so they might go for a dive, etc., etc. But I decide to leave. Decide to straight up leave. Um, as you can see, Lucian is getting just hard zoned off the tower pretty understandable because he's the only one there and he's just excessively weak right now. Um, I really dies once again to the Silas. A bit of a scrap fest going on on the top lane, but I finally managed to pick up my warrior here. Um, and that's going to be huge. Q evolve and warrior means that I can now just fucking shit on people. Uh, well, I'm now a champion essentially, so that's that's nice. <laughs> um, gonna head over to the bot side once again. I'm not really playing top side at this point and I'm going to move over. Rise is coming down. They actually pick up a solo kill on the Ezreal. Thank fuck. This game is not completely lost. Um, which is very good. Because now it's just a matter of... Okay. Can I... Can I... Like... Make things happen to the point where... I'm strong enough to carry... This game. And um, as you can see the Malphite is actually... Just... Super fed. Um, which is really really good. AP Malphite by the way. So he's, he's going to be excessively strong. Um, okay, I get really greedy here, and I know I'm very strong, so I'm going to jump here, 
Oh, not not that greedy actually, but I burst down the Kindred. Um, I try to take the Raptor, but her ult is going to prevent the Raptor from being taken, and she also prevents her own death. So that kind of sucks. That's just what you have to do with with against the Kindred. That's why she's so strong. And that's why she's played at Worlds, etc. Like super powerful ultimate, um, and it really sucks for me because normally that would be a kill, but it's it's whatever. Okay, I'm gonna wait here with the Galio. We're gonna see if we can do something in the mid lane. Um, <clears throat> we have a great CC combo with Galio, and I've got the burst to back it up with. Ryze gets taunted, and he just goes down in isolation. Uh, EQ, auto attack W, pretty simple, straightforward. I'm gonna help push this wave and tax while I can. Tax as much as I can, because it's a Galio. It's better if I have gold compared to the Galio. If the Galio got that kill, it would have kind of sucked, because, uh, I don't know, it's just wasted gold, I think. <clears throat> it's much better going on the Kha'Zix compared to the Galio, so I'm going to <clears throat> return to my jungle, probably, and uh, you know, just see what's what. I'm actually going to walk over here, just because I'm kind of afraid, yeah, I saw, I'm pretty sure I saw the Kindred down bot side at some point, and now I'm just going to wait, but I have to back off here because I don't see the enemy bot lane, Kindred's over here, she's being really strange, um, she just instantly gets altered and I burst her down, she doesn't have an ultimate up either, so... Uh, yeah, she overextends there and I pick up my second kill, which is really good. Um, really important, actually. So now I'm actually starting to, you know, get some stuff under my belt. I'm getting a lot of gold and getting a lot of experience. And that's essential for... That's essential if I'm going to carry this game. Like, it's it's so essential. Because um, I'm not really fond of trusting my, my laners. Especially this Lucian, who had a very rough early game. Um, no flame, no flame by the way. I'm not flaming anyone in this game, I'm just like, I'm just saying the bot lane had a very rough early game. But they've actually managed to do quite well uh, in regards to, you know, bring it, bringing it back a little bit. So I'm going to recall and buy a serrated dirk with my boots. I'm also going to pick up a control ward in the process. So, <clears throat> generally we cure over like going the serrated dirk because the damage you get with it uh, in combination with Q-Wall was quite ridiculous. Uh, we can see Kindred going to do the crab, so we're going to try and stop her from doing it, but she's going to end up getting it. Anyway, uh, it, it's fine though, I guess. Like, it's completely fine. She actually ends up dying though, which is funny. Uh, she just barely fails to get over the wall, and another fight's going to break out here, so... I'm looking for isolation, there is no isolation, and then I just reveal myself for no reason. I get exhausted straight away. And um, then I decide to go on the rise instead because he's ISO and then I just blow him up but I get Silas ulted. Malphite ulted by the Silas and then I just die to the GLP which kind of sucks because honestly I could have outplayed that Silas and maybe got in the way. But that was a very bad fight. Uh, we traded I think about yeah four, three for three for four. That was not too great. And I also didn't get anything out of that. So that was, uh, yeah, you could say that was not a good fight to pick. Uh, instead, what I should have done is I probably should have just waited a bit longer. Um, I should have waited on the side and then appeared. Uh, you can see the calm is just holding exhaust for me, which is really, really annoying. Uh, I lose a lot of my damage, so as soon as I got exhausted, I couldn't really go on that Ezreal because he has Iceborn already. And my Qs would just do like 50 damage. I'm not even joking. Like, it's so. I, my, my Qs would do nothing without isolation and against the Iceborn Ezreal while exhausted. Would not do much. I see the karma here, so, ah, man, I just nearly, nearly get her. I was very close, <clears throat> but uh, that would have made for a good pick, and I would have picked up a lot of much-needed gold uh, from that, which would have been good. But for now, I just return to my jungle and start taking the camps once again. Uh, really important you do this, by the way. Uh, you don't want to be baited into fights too much. You want to make sure you take your camps ASAP. Well, not ASAP, but like as much as possible. Uh, as you can see, I'm 96 CS and the Kindred is 78. Like, I'm going to be much stronger than her. The key against these, like the key thing against these aggressive cheese junglers is that you need to find a time to take your camps um, as much as you can. Okay, another fight's gonna come out. Silas is gonna go on the Galio. Um, nothing is gonna really come out of this though. I can't go in on that fight. It's just not ideal for me. Uh, I rely solely on isolation because I'm going Q evolve, and so if I don't pick fights with isolation, I lose a lot of value, <clears throat> and that's bad. So I choose not to fight too much. Generally, with Q evolve, you can't take fights like that. Uh, that's more of an R evolve style fight. 
that you would take. Um, just because like of the fact that you have Q Evolve, you need to kind of pick fights on your own accord. You need to find situations that are suitable for you and kind of just ignore situations that aren't suitable for you because Q Evolve is very, very feast or famine. I think if you don't do well with it, you're kind of screwed. Okay, Silas is actually going to jump with the wall here. I'm kind of expecting him to kind of protect this tower here. So that's why I'm kind of waiting around here. And I actually managed to pick him off here quite comfortably, despite me being two levels behind him. And uh, so that's very nice. Kha'Zix in isolation, obviously very nice. Q of all paying off dividends there. If I had R of all, I wouldn't actually be, have been able to kill him because he would have stolen my ultimate and gotten the R of all for himself. So <clears throat> very... Uh, it's not very ideal to evolve R against Silas, but sometimes you have to do it. But in this case, I was like, no, nah, fuck that. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to counter jungle here. As you can see, any enemies in the top side of the map. And I'm just chilling, checking the camps. Managed to pick up a blue buff. My Aurelia gets a tower. I'm shadowing her. Um, yeah, it's very important you look for opportunities like that. Um, like I did on the Silas. Because that's the only way I'm going to manage to get, like snowball the game. And you'll see this a lot. You're gonna you're gonna be seeing this a lot. Uh, this game, I'm going to make a lot of picks <clears throat> in the next uh, like 10 minutes or so, and that's going to completely change the outcome of the game. So stick around for that. Uh, on top of that, I did manage to get my dust blade just because I got that kill. So that Silas kill has led to so many good things. It's unbelievable. I managed to pick up my dust blade. We got dragon. I got uh, the kindred's blue. The Aurelia got the bot lane tower. Like it's just huge. You can really see how just how impactful picks can be on the map and you know that silas pick was just a great example of what you can do with uh you know with with good macro good decision making i felt like my decision making was very good this game um <coughs> relative to my other Kazakh gameplays um and you'll see it's coming right up uh i just need to hit level 11. okay as you can see a huge fight is coming up this is another good example. Am I gonna just run up topside? Fuck no. I'm not gonna get there in time. Look at that fight. The fight is basically almost over. And the Kindred ult is just going to be huge in that fight and completely shut down all the picks that we could have possibly gotten in that fight. And my entire team is gonna end up dying, as you can see. Should I run up there? Hell no. I'm not gonna get there in time. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna push this mid, mid wave and try and take down this mid lane tower. That's the closest thing I can do. Uh, the, the closest objective I can get. And I do decide to evolve my R here, I'll touch on that a little bit. <clears throat> so, rather than going E and risking it all, risking the entire game, I decide to go for R evolve because I desperately need to try and get picks and be more flexible in fights. As you can see, the Kindred's coming along here, so I'm going to R evolve really, really- <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to R evolve, and I'm going to cough, and just one shot her. And I get a little bit blood hungry here, I'm just going to try and go for the rise, but he's actually being really smart there. He's staying in isolation. <clears throat> no, he's staying in the minion wave so that I don't get isolation and that was actually really well played by him because if I did get isolation there Maybe I I probably could have killed him not gonna lie. So yeah, that was good uh, I see the enemy team collapsing on me. So I have to just jump over the wall and you know recall I actually decide to go for a Kindle gem next. I don't even have to, I don't even have the time or luxury to go into my boots here It's just so like if I were to invest into defensive options here, I would kind of just be wasting my gold because I what I really need is my aggressive items to you know try and carry. And so my next item is actually going to be a black cleaver, just basically for the armor shred and just all the utility it provides. It's just going to be invaluable this game. It's so it's so useful, especially against Ezreal because that little bitch decides to build armor and it's so annoying. <laughs> okay, the Ezreal actually gets a little greedy here. You can see him; he just ease in by himself. Wow! Wow, man! Nice job, man. You have three items and you throw your lead like that. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna clear this ward here, and that's about it. But I got a huge shutdown on that Ezreal. That was massive. That was really, 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 really good. Um, keep in mind, that's just what Kha'Zix does. He's very good at punishing stupid mistakes like that. Uh, any evolution, any build would have, you know, done the same job in that scenario. <clears throat> but, you know, it's just a matter of Ezreal screwing up. Okay, I'm going to walk into this uh, bot side jungle here. I'm going to wait. Karma really does not expect this. And uh, she just, I don't know, man. She flashes on the spot and then she exhausts me really late. No chance. Goodbye. And at the same time, 
Uh, the Aureli is actually going to stun the Silas in isolation, and I'm actually going to pick up a second kill there. Kendra comes along as well, so I'm going to flash on her. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. What the hell do you want? And she actually is really strong, so I have to back out. <laughs> and I bait the Aureli into dying, so that was kind of a little bit greedy. I was getting really, really, you know, uh, blood hungry. That's why I flashed on the Kendra like that. I was like, you really, you really want to fight me? And yeah, so I was kind of just challenging her there. But because she had the wall, she could outplay me quite easily. Uh, yeah. Gotta keep in mind about Kendra. She's very strong. Very strong champion. Um, as, as you can see, I'm very close to my cleaver. I have 2,000 gold and a Kindle gem. So, naturally, I'm almost going to hit it. <clears throat> I'm level 13. I'm going to recall right now. Uh, just 50 gold off the cleaver. So, I'm going to actually sell my pink ward. Yep. See ya. Sell my pink ward for the cleaver. The cleaver's gonna be invaluable. Uh, I'm excessively strong right now. It's not even funny. And you can see where I'm going, right? You can see exactly where I'm going, where I'm pathing on the minimap. See what I'm doing? I ping the, I ping off the dragon. I know the dragon's respawning, but at the same time, we have one dragon each. It really doesn't matter who gets this dragon. So instead, I'm gonna invest my time into trying to get picks and trying to gain control of the top side uh, where the Baron is. So this was really important to do. I think if we were getting, uh, if we were choosing to go for the Baron, no, sorry, the Dragon fight, it just makes my life harder in terms of needing to play the fights properly and all that, and actually secure the Dragon as well. So I'm picking a much safer approach and just going into the top side of the map to try and pick up a kill. And at the same time, the Malphite's actually following me, and this is really important too. It's very good that the Malphite's following me because. He has a lot of damage, he has a lot of burst, and he's got his, you know, crazy CC ultimate. Uh, Ryze and Silas come here, and, well, that's all she wrote. See you later. See you later. Imagine if we took the dragon there. Did they really expect us to be topside? Fuck no, because the dragon was coming up. So why would we ever be topside? Like, I'm going to stay here, uh, right after those picks, and I'm going to stay here and zone everyone off from the topside of the map, <clears throat> while my team takes the topside tower, uh see what i'm doing like just so much zoning potential with the isolation which is what i'm doing in this game um lucian goes straight on the kindred i try and bust it down but of course she ultimates i'm not using my ulti here because i don't need to um uh, ezra's falling really low he's gonna flash out on the side but he's in isolation now so i just finish him off quite easily godlike there we go and my team is gonna follow up on this fight as well and uh, Lucian picks up, the picks up the Kindred, I really picks up the Karma, and what do you know? Uh, we can Baron now, three are dead, so that means we can Baron, except the Aurelia didn't come with us, which is like catastrophic. Um, this was really, really catastrophic because we are so low, we're so fucking low. <clears throat> and then she goes down, and then all of a sudden they can contest, so that was really stupid of her to just not do anything and go for the push in the mid lane, I don't know man. Ryze picks up the Galio, and then we're just too low to take the Baron any longer. He does go down to the Malphite, but at the same time, like, that's just a wasted Baron opportunity. We lost it, we, we couldn't get the Baron, and that was just dumb, in my opinion. We should have been able to get that 100% if everyone went to the Baron. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it's all good. It's all good, I'm still going to continue my job. Uh, at this point, the enemy team thinks we're resetting. But as you can see, I'm clearly still on the map. And I'm not done yet. I'm really not done yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that they think we're resetting. And I'm actually going to go straight into a Void Assault here and just one-shot the Karma while she's trying to get vision. See, like, <clears throat> it's about playing with the enemy's mindset, right? I know exactly what they're thinking this, like, in that scenario. They 100% think we are basing and resetting in that scenario, and the Karma 100% does not expect me to be right there waiting for her to come into isolation. There's just no way that she expects that. And so I'm taking advantage of as everything I can, everything I possibly can in this game, and I'm going for as many picks as possible. And you'll see, I'm going to go right back at it. Like, I'm not done. I'm still going for picks as we, as, as I speak. Like, you can see, I'm pinging myself uh, that I'm going into the bot side of the map. Unfortunately, I get I get spotted by a fucking blue ward here And that kind of sucks. It kind of ruins my assassination opportunity So now they know I'm playing bot side, but watch what I do here. See I jump straight over and I'm switching sides Now they think I'm bot side and so they'll be less careful in the top side You see what I'm getting at here? Like this is so important Switching sides like this is so 
Like, it's so, so useful. They have no idea I'm playing topside here. They think I'm bot side because their brain is telling them, well, I last saw Kazakh's bot side, so he's probably bot side. And you can see the karma here is just, I don't know what she's doing, but <laughs> see ya. See ya later. She just gets blown up in the process. And um, <clears throat> now that's another kill. We've killed karma like three times in a row just because of this vision abuse, vision abuse and the mind games, you know? By the way, I'm not done. I'm going to mix up my pattern yet again. I'm going to actually Void Assault into the mid lane while Ezreal thinks he's completely safe. But fuck, no he's not. You think I'm just going to stay in the jungle all game? Hell no. I'm going to mix up my strategy strategies a bit as I continue to get picks across the game. And, you know, this is something that's really important. You don't want to make yourself too predictable. I really doubt the Ezreal expected me to do that. Because all I was doing for the past, like, five minutes is waiting in a bush and seeing if they come in and getting picks off of that. So, he, he, I doubt he expected that to happen. But anyway, the Aurelia has actually killed the Kindred and the Kindred has been playing bot side for some reason. So that's a free Baron. Um, pick up that Baron and all of a sudden, holy shit, this game is like turned around. Wow, what happened? It's just because of the fact that we managed to get so many picks in such a short amount of time. And now I'm just unstoppable. Like there's nothing that, that can stop me at this point. And the next thing for me, the next thing for me to do after we've successfully picked so many enemies off and taken the Baron, the next thing for me to do is try and get level 16. Because if I manage to get level 16, then I can easily close out the game with my Leap, my E Evolve. So, yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's just so crucial trying to play with the enemy's mindset uh, as Kha'Zix. I feel like the more I play him in this meta, the more I understand. I know the season is about to end, but I think a lot of stuff will still stay true uh, in regards to Kha'Zix gameplay, so yeah. Uh, as you can see, I'm just trying to take my camps now. Sorry, fucking plane outside. <laughs> oh my god, there's a plane outside. Sorry about that sound, if you can hear it. But yeah, okay, so just taking my camps now. I can finally, I finally have a chance to farm and grab my level 16, which allows me to evolve my E. So, bam, we're gonna buy... Uh, Last Whisper as well, and Evolve our E. See you later. The game is pretty much over at this point. I, all I need to do is now find better picks where we can properly close out the game. Uh, as for my build choice, I decided to go into a second Serrated Dirk, so that's two lethality items, on top of a Last Whisper because I wanted to negate some armor even further. This is pretty much the perfect build uh, in this scenario. I'm trying to go bot side, going to look See if everything everything is clear in regards to vision. It's not, so I'm going to sweep that ward. And at the same time, I'm going to think about switching sides here, but it's probably not ideal. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to wait here instead. Uh, I do get spotted out once again uh, by the vision plant, so that kind of sucks. But I'm just making it. I'm making them think that I'm playing bot side once again. You see the exact same thing. I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm making them think I'm playing bot side. But I'm actually in the top side right now. They would not expect this. And once again, Kindred, top side, isolated. I kind of screw up here, but uh, I do manage to uh, bring out her ultimate. And at the same time, she goes down by the Malphite. And at the same time, we're going to use the same uh, instance of Void Assault to finish off the Silas here. Um, I think I really would have gotten the kill there regardless, but still, I'm applying so much pressure in this game. It's unbelievable. Um, and props to my team for bringing it back and, you know, just chilling out. I don't know if they were chill, but, because <laughs> I mean it all, but, you know. Uh, now we're going to take this in here. It's, it's, oh, it's so simple. It's so simple. I'm going to try and end the game here, um, just because, you know, I'm super fucking strong. But Rise and Karma are here. I f instantly flash on the Karma. I'm like, do you really want to walk up to me like that? Do you really want to walk up to me? I don't think so. And I missed my W because it wouldn't be a Tinder's video without missing my W. I'm very, very low. And what do you know? I'm going to take this middle inhibitor. And the one way I die. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Really? 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 Is that really the way I die? Oh my god. I made. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? That's fine. All good. Okay, after that very stupid death, <laughs> um, what has happened while I was respawning is that the Kindred has invaded my top side for some reason and died in the process, so. Uh, now, 
it's just a matter of going bot side and trying to open up the game even more. Um, there's so many uh, people that I think just kind of group mid and expect to push into the towers and end the game, but in this case we're taking it slow, we're going for the bot lane because that's the only objective that is closest and we have two inhibitors taken already. So I'm just chilling, you know, I'm just looking for an opportunity now where I can actually assassinate. I'm kind of useless in this scenario, there's really nothing I can do here, so uh, it's not a very good position for me to be in, unfortunately. Uh, the Aurelia is actually walking up here, she gets snared, and the Kindred is going to get really greedy, and I just completely one-shot it in isolation. I'm going to one-shot the Rise too, see you later. Enemy overextends, and I punish them for it. That's pretty much it. Uh, using my Vortis all very carefully here, just to not get hit by the Silas E, blah blah blah. That's it. Hit the towers, Tinjus. You you deserve this win. GG. Well played, guys. Well played to the guys on my team as well. You guys uh, clutched it out in the end. I know it was a rough early game, kind of, but we pulled it back. And I one-shot the karma one more time. <laughs> guys, thank you so much. I hope you learned something in this video. It was, I think it was quite informative. Um, like and subscribe, all that good stuff if you're new. And uh, more Kazakhstan gameplays coming out soon. Uh, and I will see you next time.